Now let's see how to restore the app to a previous version. Imagine we just published this app with this rectangle here, but there is something wrong and we want to return back to the version where we didn't have this rectangle. You don't need to go back to the app, edit, delete the rectangle, delete all the formulas you did, all the modifications. You can find the previous version and return to that version. The way to do this is, we are going to go to make.powerapps.com, find the app we want to return to the previous version and click on this on, here on this ellipsis. We can then go to the details of the app and once we click here, we can see some information such as the link, the app ID and so on. But here in the versions, we can see all the versions that were published. So remember that we had the first version, then we added the rectangle and published again. And this one is the version that's live, is the version that has the rectangle on, rectangle on it. And I want to go back to the previous one. So I'll click here in the version one, select the version, and I can click on this ellipsis or in the top, click on restore. Once I click on restore, it will create the next version, that's version three, and the app will return to that version. Uh, the app needs to be closed when doing that. I just closed my app and it didn't detect yet that the app's closed. So you may need to wait a little. Let me just refresh and try again. I'm going to select the version one, click on restore again, and still uh, it's saying that the app is locked. We need to wait a little more. I will wait and once it lets me do it, I will try again. Let's try again after a couple of minutes. So with the app selected, I'm going to click on restore. This video is sponsored by the support of my subscribers who like and comment on the videos. This class is part of a full course I have on Udemy, where I teach beginners how to build their first apps. So if you want to ensure lifetime access and see the entire course, I suggest you to join me on Udemy. If the course isn't for you, that's okay, but I kindly ask you to show your support by liking this video and subscribe to this channel. Your engagement means a lot to me and motivates me to continue creating valuable content like this. Now the app restarts and then I can see version 3 right here. The version published is still version 2. I need to come here and publish this version so version 3 will uh, be live. Now it says it's live. If I go back to my app and refresh I should be able to see that a new version is coming and after a couple of seconds it will show the new version that's actually the previous version without this rectangle. Let's refresh again a couple of times. And now I see the app with the older version right here. If I go back to apps and edit this app, I will be back in the older version and all the changes that I did from that point on, after I published that point, are lost. So I just went back to that version. Okay, I just see the app loading here and we should see the first screen without the rectangle. Here's the app with the old version. Okay, given that, we just saw all the interface and now we are ready to start building our first app in the next session of this course. See you there in the classes. Bye bye.